Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Rule 34 podcast. I'm your host, Jack, joined by my fellow co host. Alright, so. Uh, been about a week since we recorded. I yes. think this is the most we've been on schedule since we started, and the most consistent, I think you could say. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think what this makes two, three weeks in a row, compared to our usual do a week and then maybe go off on a break because of school for another week. Yep. But so, how you been? Um, I've been pretty good. Um, so far, um, everything through school has been I've been barely hanging on. Uh, I don't know 100% of my grades at the moment, but I don't feel like I'm doing too well, mm. uh, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm not doing too well. I might be, but I'm probably not. Um, other than that, I've been pretty uh, hesitant on whether I should like go on campus because uh, Berkeley recently, like, uh, recently um uh, uh, threw out uh, an application to sign up for a dorming for next uh, for next year, fall semester. Mm. And I've been thinking, like, should I sign up for it? Because this is going to be the third time if they, they do send me an application and they do get an offer and I reject it, that would be the third time I would have to reject a housing application. Because yeah. I already rejected it twice. Only because, you know, COVID and stuff like that. Yeah. And so, but I mean, I also want, you know, want to go, you know, visit the campus and like see how, how it is, even if we're going to be staying indoors for most of the time. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird um, because I'm pretty sure for the students that live over there or that dorm over there or nearby, they have to get like, they have to be tested at least two weeks, no, I mean, two times a week. Mm. And that, you know, and I keep on hearing stories of like students that have to wait like hour long lines. Just to get, you know, a dose. Uh, not, not a dose, I mean a... a Test. Tested. Well, I mean, now that doses are coming out, I believe, like, um, students might, you know, get some sort of priority. Yeah. But, like, I can't imagine waiting an hour and just, you know, two times a week, every week. Yeah, I feel you. Especially with, like, such a busy schedule, you know. Exactly. What about stocks? Stocks? Okay, so we actually gotten back up. Um, nothing too shabby at the moment. We're still losing money here and there, but I'm actually in the in the green per se. Mm-hmm. Um, if I sell now, I can make a good profit. Although I'm gonna be waiting until get back into the thousands again. Mm, okay, okay. But who knows how long that might take? But it might be soon. It might be right now. We don't know. Gotta take it to the moon. Yeah, I take it to Pluto, bro. To Pluto. But other than that, yeah, to Pluto. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much in terms of stocks. I mean, it's pretty much plummeting down at the moment. Mm. Many people are losing millions of dollars, but, uh, I mean, they're still holding on. Damn. But, yeah, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy at the moment. I've been, uh, I'm in the middle, I guess you could say, of how I've been. How so? Really, really struggling with, with school right now, you know? Right. Especially because I'm in my final, uh, well, I finished up week eight today, so next week's week nine, and after that, week ten, and that's it. That's, uh, winter quarter. Really? Mm-hmm. And then you have to for the new classes, right? Yeah, but, uh, as I've told many people, off uh, off mic you know off recording I am struggling to even find classes right now which it's making things very difficult for next quarter because a bunch right. of classes that I'm either supposed to take or might have interest in taking are either completely full or waitlisted right. and thus leaving me with a bunch of classes that I have no in- either have no interest in or just don't know about right right but mm-hmm. That's as far as the school side goes. As far as regular life, I've been doing pretty well, you know. Just 
eating, staying healthy, you know, like being entertained. You know, one of the ways I've been entertaining myself when, uh, you know, I don't have friends online, like at, at the ready to play with, you know, and like when I, and because of school, you know, I can't dedicate long hours to like solo games, you know. I, I went back to playing Smash. And this is what I was saying for the pocket. So, in Smash, you know how there's the essentially the campaign mode, right? Or the story mode. Right. And in there, you collect these things called spirits, which help you essentially fight through uh, the story mode. Because, like, they provide boosts and can help you, like... Like, basically, when you're battling through the story mode, there will be, like, enemies that have, like, certain advantages. Like, they'll have a floor of lava, right? But right. with certain spirits, like support support spirits, they'll help you like basically disable the effects that like the lava floor would have on you or stuff like that. And so, right. I've been since I already one hundred percented the story. I've been working on getting every single spirit in the game. Right. And so, I finally was able to get every single support. Like I, I, I don't have them like at the ready, but like. In terms of like the spirit list that that's in game that keeps account of if you've had these spirits or not, right. uh, I I got all the ones in the support. Um, I got a bunch of other ones. I still need to, the ones left. I need to do are the spirits for the fighters themselves, like in the game, right? And uh, for uh the primaries which are like used as like the they basically pair with the support spirits uh-huh. and i wanted to bring this up because you know as i mentioned not really having much time to dedicate uh now for the most part i need to replay through the story because as it turns out i accidentally transferred a spirit without even knowing one of the primary ones because i need one more primary I accidentally transferred one of the spirits for those who play Smash. It's uh, the Mark's spirit. And I need it because I need to enhance it to get like... Because like some of them you can enhance so that when they reach level 9, they essentially evolve into a better spirit. And so I need that one to get the spirit afterwards to complete that list of the primary spirits. And the only way to get it is by playing through the by uh, getting it in the story mode and the worst part is it's at like the very end of the story mode or like towards the very end oh okay I got you so I'm technically soft locked because you know it, it's only until I get to that point that I'll be able to get that but yeah right. that that that's one part I'm really struggling in is trying to get to <laughs> back to that point and and speaking of like like getting a hundred percent, like I'm assuming there's like achievements, right? Uh, yeah. and like like platinum trophy, kind of like a, you know PlayStation has. Uh, I think I know in game it has the milestones, which basically keep keep account of things like, like yeah, essentially milestones that you've done, you know. Right. Like, it keeps milestones of when you completed the campaign, when you unlocked all the fighters, when you've completed this many battles, done all this and this, you know. Yeah. Like, I think it gave me a milestone when I completed every character's classic mode. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess. You know, so it, it does keep sort of track like that. But at the same time, I also say uh, Smash Bros. doesn't do much in terms of, uh, how would you say, like, like, you know, like how some games, like, they'll at least give you, like, a screen if you do something, right? Yeah. Smash Bros. for the most part, like, sure, they might give you the milestone, but there's other ones where they won't, like, really even give you much for, uh, I guess you say, like, satisfaction, you know? Like, for your progress. Yeah, you know, like, let's say you, like, put yourself to a challenge of something that's in the game. But, like, they might have not even thought about it. So, they don't put in, like, at least some type of screen that says, like, oh, congratulations on completing this, you know? Oh, yeah, I guess you're good. But before... I mean, uh-huh. what, were you, what were you going to say, though? 
No, I was going to say, like, um, aside from Smash, like, what are all the games that you've, like, gotten, like, 100% in, in terms of, like, trophies? Hmm. Like, on PlayStation or any other, like, you know, entertainment uh, system? Um... Technically, I 100%ed Pokemon Sword and Sh- or Pokemon Shield when uh when it first came out, you know, before all the DLCs and stuff came out because, you know, completed the game. Went through all of it including the postseason, you know. And this and again, this was before they started adding stuff, so like, you know, I was able to complete it. I mean, right. for the most part, I've expressed my views on Pokemon Shield. It was like the easiest installment of the of the series, you know. Yeah. Which I would use to tie into this real quick before we get into our main topic. Today, woke up at six thirty just to make sure I was ready to catch the Pokemon Direct. And so, Pokemon Snap was announced, or not announced, but it, it they showed progression in the game and development in the game you know then they announced the long awaited gen 4 remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and you know I really enjoyed the trailer I I was just so blown away by it you know they kind of wanted to keep going with its uh, original 2D aspect but still keeping uh, certain new aspects to it you know right and I don't know. I don't really care about like if a game is difficult or not because you can obviously like as we've seen with the Pokemon community, they'll literally create different like rules to make the game harder if it's not hard. But this was definitely a game kind of looking at where it was like, uh, I hope they kind of make it the same difficulty as it was because I'm telling you right now, some people will say, oh, it's, it was just difficult because you were a child. I went and replayed Pokemon Diamond on my DS, and let me tell you. Not only is it difficult, or like it wasn't as difficult, but it's definitely time consuming because you have to grind up your Pokemon's levels to be prepared for every single gym. And even that, I gave myself the challenge that I couldn't over level my Pokemon. So I would look at what was the highest level the Pokemon, like the next gym leader had, and I would prevent my Pokemon from getting past that level just so it would be essentially a fair fight against them. But so, like, with this game, I like it's more specific with this game that I wanted to have the same difficulty. Just because, you know, this one and the Gen 5 are known as the hardest and most time-consuming Pokemon games. Especially because I think even non-Pokemon fans have seen memes of Pokemon fans talking about Cynthia as champion with her, like, with her champion squad, you know, and how difficult it is and how much it, like, when they hear her boss, essentially boss battle music and how much it just, just triggers, like, just the trauma in a lot of Pokemon fans because she literally, like, it's not a joke. She would literally wipe whole teams and make you have to go through the Elite Four again just to try and even have a chance at her again. Right. So that was announced, and then right after, they essentially announced a prequel to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl by essentially revealing an open-world Pokemon game that's going to take place in Sinnoh. And it looks like if you mix Breath of the Wild with Pokemon. But did but did it get like good reception? Yeah, a lot of people were surprised by it, and they were saying it had better graphics than, uh, than the actual uh, <laughs> Sword and Shield games. Oh. Like it literally looks like they they fully went into JRPG mode completely. Like Pokemon itself is already essentially a JRPG, you know, but they yeah. went full like JRPG. Like you're walking around in an open world. You can go up and battle them, but it looks like uh you know how like actual JRPGs are where like you're facing off with them, you know. Yeah. It,